Hey lovelies and star here. Welcome back to Fran Boo. Last time we met this ant guy over here and he said that his beetle pig ate our cat, so um that he didn't care that we killed it to get our cat back and Beetle Pig did not like that ideal, so and he wasn't gonna stand still and then we need to get these berries. So that, uh, so that, you know, that we can do that. So I have a little door now for some reason. It's a magic door. I still have not figured out how to get the berries. So, because I'm trying to do this the right way. Um, maybe I have to use the magic door here. That would be my only assumption. This is really odd, my own door is locked. Ugh. So, <laughs> now I have a locked magic door. And I still haven't figured out how to trap one of these guys. Niggers creepy shadows. You know. Shadows are creepy. Well. A little tiny house. Hello, I am Fran. It looks tasty. Should I make it up? No. Creepiness. Creepy. Um, there's no smoke coming out of the chimney. I'm hiding mushroomy pipe on the roof. Put a mushroom on the pipe. I don't know if I should use the uh, floors to enter my own little door back there. My own brain power is failing me. Then again, it's also almost 4.30 in the morning. Brain power failing. Ugh, won't work. Can I use the axe on this over here? Ugh! I can use it on brand. It's a little morbid. Don't you think? Shadows? Shadows. Oh, that's my key. Probably. I haven't found the thief, sir. Some things can't be found because they have to find you. Uh, but now what? I thought you were also trying to find your cat, isn't that right? Yes, but I'm having trouble with that. Can I have some of the meat? What a cozy little lamb. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown those tiny little monsters in there. 
That is so amazing. Huh. We might have to take a little meat for those who hunger. Yes. I don't know if that's for in here. Get down. I got one piece of meat, I won't touch it again. Okay. Get on the floor then. I don't know if that's for in here or the ants. Okay, so try it for the ants then. It is for is now mine. And it's great to know. What is this bag for, however? A rat trap with some sort of card. Exterminator. On the text is almost gone. It says exterminator. But looks seriously mad. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God! Sorry, but I really need the berries. Another one's hit me, bad mama. There we go. Yes, yes, I got them. They smell delicious. Special blueberries for the beetle pig. So I can kill it. It's so great. So morbid. But I love it. <laughs> so morbid, but I love it. It's so horrible. I'm so sorry, Beetle Pig. Uh, oh, God. What? You're not my cat. Oh miss, you saved me from misery. Good for you. But I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat. My lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh miss lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Here we are. Someone took him as they just disappeared. Oh my goodness, could you be more specific? I can't ever say that word. I wish I could, it looked like the earth swallowed them. If there is anything else I can do for you to let me know, I'll be around. Actually, there is. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb, the shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Yes. I can comb your hair first. Oh, it's a cat! He's like, oh, yes! Oh, it's not normal. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. Okay. Now I can go get my key. Have you found the filthy rat yet? Go find him and bring us our comb back. Oh, well, I did get your comb. Here. Here's your beautiful combs, misters. <laughs> not quite as cute, but... Everybody's happy, so. Oh, you friend, a person, you finally did it. Oh, they turned into fly- oh, dragonflies! Oh, that's so- that's so awesome! Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. And she's all like, oh, it's so cool! Oh, beautiful! Goodbye, shiny misters! Have a nice trip. Oh 
Oh, the rat! Rat, who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Dakota key from the tree. No crap, I want you to use it on the door. It worked, woohoo. <sighs> What a curious little door. I'm getting an Alice in Wonderland vibe here. I wonder where it will lead me. Who knows? Mr. Midnight, are you in here? Oh no, who's that? Oh god, it's a monster. Chapter 2, Part 2. Double personality. Mm. Oh my goodness, where am I? Huh, what is this, a hat? Mr. Midnight, oh no, your head. Kitty! Wait, just a second, this is not my kitty. A weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. What is up with this? <laughs> we'll go home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. I won't lay down in that thing. I should try to get out of here instead. It's funny to see what people have in their homes. Let me see bottles of milk jar and dry flowers. Let me see. Oh, I'll keep the cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Are those eyes? Ugh. A head? From a human? I guess? I close the window so the cold wind stays up. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. Cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to like matches though. I always feel like it could burn my entire face. Well, she's so optimistic. Turn my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Ooh, a sharp, shiny knife. <laughs> of course, she takes the knife. I don't. It sounds like Dracula, but spa. King Leo's baking powder soda. Make cupcakes. If I don't care touch it, maybe it'll attack me. Flower, make me sneeze. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. You want me cookies? Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. I want to keep the chimney warm. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitty. I like their blue dress, though. Anything I can take here, wonder who Mush is. I see it owns all the mushrooms. Off thing it looks like a seed. It smells like a weed we have in our garden. Salt? I'm getting all this stuff. I'm a building up to something. Pretty can. Somebody else's food. Pepper. I'm gonna like I feel like I'm gonna cook something. I'm sorry I didn't read that. Matches. Have matches light up the darkness or just for fun. They don't smell, they must be plastic flowers then. It's like a plant. Dancing teddy bear. It doesn't have shoes. What is with the pictures of the meat? <laughs> like seriously. Okay, they weren't conjoined before. The faces look familiar, but I'm not sure. Could it be? There's a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. And there's a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. Teapot has no tea in it. Not my cup. Sugar. Delicious. Sweet candy. Cake. Chocolate. 
It's a little... It has ashes inside. Firewood. Cozy and warm. Flying pig. A broom. Again, all this lovely stuff. All of it. Oh, it looks like a lovely painting. Monster who likes goats. Sisters they look alike. Red rose and the peony, huh? Oh, this room is so freaking lovely! I just love everything about it! So great! A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Oh, uh, is that monster with it's so much blood. White candles everywhere. This looks like a very old painting. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get home. Ugh, these yours are so ugly. I hope they don't... I hope they didn't hear me. I hope they don't try to catch me. Hello, doll. Who caught you? This never happens to me. I wonder what to deal with doll heads and roses. I guess I'll figure it out some day. I don't know! It's creepy! So, so creepy. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. What's in... That was... Transverse... Okay. Oh, I see I have to roll there, little baby. Is you fresh? Are you still alive? Oh, little baby, what are you doing here? Secret bottle with a secret inside. Where could it be? I can't get from there. I need a bridge. You can't use a broom? Oh, there we go. Ah! Snap. Bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. <sighs> okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it's just this. It, it's, it's just, it's just this. I don't think there's anything else I could use. Black candles. Oh, this sounds so great. I'm loving everything about this. Oh, there's a chain up there. I, 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 oh my god! Oh, that scared me! What was that? Oh my god. That ghost scared me. What was that? Oh, shit. What the heck? Oh, maybe she showed you two together. It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, alright? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. 
funny doll? Are you waiting for Easter? Do you lay eggs or do you steal them from a chicken? How do eggs come? Those shoes are too big for me. Is it midnight? Are you here, kitty? Meow. I'm here for you, Mr. Midnight. Don't be scared. Friend, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! A talking cat. That's great. Let me see you. It's me. Come closer. Please let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. Excuse me. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you, too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear friend, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Someone took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt to Grace. Friend, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. I'm tired too, but at least now we can take care of each other. Friend, can I ask you something? Sure. Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, it did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, friend? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think someone was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of someone else. Presence? Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have someone else taking care of us. Fran, do you... Did you hear that? Did you... Uh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find a key to unlock you. Alright, I love you. Uh, let's see, the sisters? They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. But they are the sister. Why are they so old? Oh, let's... Foxy. Oh no, I wish I could take you out of here. Just one hat. A pretty doll? No dolls are pretty. They're all creepy. The reason behind that mouse. Some other things. Put the hand inside the box. Toys and addicts always kiss, carry sadness with them. Big umbrella. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. I met another rat a while ago. Hmm, tiny stuff. down in here again. Let me drop you. The little baby, you took your placenta with you. I bet you did because she was sick. It's not your fault. Looks like it was like a jetpack, blood and nutrient. Oh, baby, what are you doing here? Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. I lay sure to on the wall like a picture so no one, so everyone can see you. Hmm. That was a random guess. A pretty blue rose. Hmm. I could do. There. Oh no! Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? Mm, my head? My head is just in the right place. You had a precious being from the other world. Who would not ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fambo. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Sit down. How did, is it that you know all this? That's a very, very good question. We just know we have to. We are, are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. 
I wish nothing bad had happened to me. I feel completely lost. I don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really I need to know who told you things about me. Are you scared, little friend? A little. It's odd the way I came here and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. You have the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that door took me here. And then I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember every, anything else and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antone's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here. I am looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, friend? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon, and you? We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. It's not polite. <laughs> what? You guys aren't kind of polite yourself. And you shouldn't wander around in the house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. You need to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. A heart of a frog. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourselves. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you are this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore. We show him that he is powerless and, we, and he will regret it. it. Sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. My friend, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be open with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? Ha 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 ha. I mm. Wow. This episode ran a little long. I'm sorry. I think I got kind of caught up in the moment. <laughs> it's just this game is very, very interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it just intrigues me so much. But anyhow, I am going to end this episode here. And I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Enjoying the story and 
whatnot. So, even though this episode is a little bit longer, you, you, you are enjoying it enough to keep up. <laughs> so, KB Noises, stop it. <laughs> Anyhow, I will see you lovelies next time. Bye bye. Bad, bad. I've never played a click and point quite like this. Nope. You're not going to eat me, Shadow Me. We're not going to do this. Oh.